Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer uh, on this two, Wednesday, March 17th, where we are commemorating St. Patrick of Ireland. St. Patrick was born in Great Britain about the year 385. As a young man, he was captured and sold as a slave in Ireland, where he had to tend sheep. Having escaped from slavery, he chose to enter the priesthood, and later as a bishop, he tirelessly preached the gospel to the people of Ireland, where he converted many to the faith and established the church. He died at Down in 461. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. O come, let us worship and praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, create a clean heart in me. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. O come, let us worship and praise. Our first reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, witness to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was a true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading is from the Confession of St. Patrick. I give unceasing thanks to my God, who kept me faithful in the day of my testing. Today I can offer him sacrifice with confidence, giving myself as a living victim to Christ, my Lord, who kept me safe through all my trials. I can say now, who am I, Lord, and what is my calling, that you worked through me with such divine power? You did all this so that today among the Gentiles I might constantly rejoice and glorify your name wherever I may be both in prosperity and in adversity. You did it so that, whatever happened to me, I might accept good and evil equally, always giving thanks to God. God showed me how to have faith in him forever, as one who is never to be doubted. He answered my prayer in such a way that in the last days, ignorant though I am, I might be bold enough to take up so holy and so wonderful a task and imitate in some degree those whom the Lord had so long foretold as heralds of his gospel, bearing witness to all nations. How did I get this wisdom that was not mine before? I did not know the number of my days, or of knowledge of God. How did so great and salutary a gift came, come to me? The gift of knowing and loving God, though at the cost of homeland and family. I came to the Irish peoples to preach the gospel, and endure the taunts of unbelievers putting up with reproaches about my earthly pilgrimage, suffering many persecutions, even bondage and losing my birthright of freedom for the benefit of others. If I am worthy, I am ready also to give up my life, without hesitation and most willingly. For his name, I want to spend myself in in that country, even in death, if the Lord should grant me this favor. I am deeply in his debt, for he gave me the great grace that through me many people should be reborn in God, 
and then made perfect by confirmation and everywhere among them. Clergy ordained for people so recently coming to believe. One people gathered by the Lord from the ends of the earth. As God had prophesied of old through the holy prophets, the nations will come to you from the ends of the earth and say, How false are the idols made by our fathers. They are useless. In another prophecy, he said, I have set you as a light among the nations to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. It is among that people that I want to wait for the promise made by him, who assuredly never tells a lie. He makes his promise in the gospel. They shall come from the east and the west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is our faith. Believers are to come from the whole world. Let us now sing our hymn for today. I bind unto myself today. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. I bind this day to me forever by power of faith Christ's incarnation, his baptism in the Jordan River, his cross of death for my salvation. His bursting from the spicy tomb, His riding up the heavenly way, His coming at the day of doom, I bind unto myself today. I bind unto myself today, the pictures of the starlit heaven, the glorious sun's life-giving ray, the whiteness of the moon at even, the flashing of the lightning free, the whirling winds tempest with shocks, the stable earth, the deep, Salt sea around the old eternal rocks. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, his eye to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hick into my need. The wisdom of my God to teach is hand to guide his shield toward the word of God to give me speech is heavenly host to be my God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word, Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, now is a favorable time. Behold, now is a day of salvation. He was opposed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Blessed be the God of Israel who comes to set us free. 
and raises up new hope for us, a branch from David's tree. So have the prophets long declared that with a mighty arm, God will turn back our enemies and all who wish us harm. With promised mercy will God still the covenant recall. The oaths once sworn to Abraham from foes to save us all. That we might worship without fear and offer lives of praise. In holiness and righteousness to serve God all our days. My child as prophet of the Lord, you will prepare the way. To tell God's people they are saved from sin's eternal sway. Then shall God's mercy from on high shine forth and ever cease. To drive away the gloom of death and lead us into peace. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, but that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. God, our Father, you sent Pat, St. Patrick to preach your glory to the people of Ireland. Help us follow in his example of spreading the world, of spreading the word to the entire world. Inspire us to teach others and use imagery to proclaim your great mysteries to others. And help us all, as Christians, proclaim your love to all peoples of the world. (laughs) Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. (laughs) Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. (laughs) For thine is the kingdom, and the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We wish you all a blessed day and a happy St. Patrick's Day. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, uh, later today at 10.30 for the healing service, along with at 7.30 p.m. for the healing service at evening. Have a great day, everyone, and have a happy St. Patrick's Day, a blessed St. Patrick's Day.